The attack shooter was nerfed, but also buffed in the most recent update to BTD Battles 2, and here's exactly what was changed. The 030 blade shooter used to be $700, and now it will be $750, and the 500 Inferno Ring regular attack used to deal plus 4 damage to mob class balloons, but now it's going to be plus 7, and the Meteor Crates in AoE used to be 50, but now it will be 150 damage, and it used to be damage over time of 50, but now it will be 150. Hopefully that makes sense. And they explain, Tax Shooter has consistently remained one of, if not the best starting tower due to its incredibly efficient Blade Shooter upgrade. This strong point is the main appeal of Tax Shooter and we don't want to take that away from it. However, we've decided to tone it down very slightly so that it doesn't stand out quite so much when compared to other early game options. Inferno Ring has gotten another buff to slightly strengthen Tax Shooter's late game effectiveness. So with that being said, we're specifically going to be focusing on showcasing the newly buffed Inferno Ring in today's video to see how good it is now. So without further ado, let's hop right into it. Ladies and gentlemen, our opponent's going to be using Adora as their hero. We got Scientist Gwendolyn, and we're going to be using the strategy of Tack Village Ice. Guys, this is a classic Tack late game strategy, and we want to showcase the Inferno Ring with today's video. So... That's kind of why I wanted to use this strategy since I feel like for this map star, it's going to work out very nicely for us, okay? And we're going to be starting off with Gwendolyn here just so that we can set her down on round one because the earlier that you set down your hero, typically the better. Although some balloons, hopefully they won't get by here because uh, we're trying to maintain the life advantage here and I think we're going to be good. Yeah, we are in fact good. He's going to cry. Most likely because he's leaking. We're going to have the life advantage going to the later game rounds. And this strategy could make it and survive all the way into round 40. But look at that, boys. They made the blade shooter $50 more expensive. Literally unplayable, bro. Nah, it's not that big of a deal. And honestly, it's understandable and it's fine because the blade shooter upgrade is in fact very, very good. And although $50 doesn't seem like a lot, it is a lot at the same time during these earlier game rounds here, okay? And uh, please don't leak there, okay? I had to go for the faster shooting upgrade just to be ultra, ultra safe there because you never know. Although our opponent currently has the boat and Adora combo, they can have a tower within their strategy that they can use in order to regen their lives. So that's why I just really want to make sure that we do not leak in case that is in fact the reality. By the way, here on round four, I'm going to send space pinks. It might actually get some leaks on him. And yeah, looks like he's currently leaking. It's going to force the cannon ship upgrade over on his boat. So we will take that for sure. I already upgraded to the even faster shooting, by the way, because I already know for a fact we would need that to defend against grouped greens here on round five, okay? And because he has Adora as his hero, remember, Adora directly buffs Super Monkey. So most likely as a Super Monkey. So I'm honestly not sure what his third and final tower would be. And if he's not using the Super Monkey, then like that just straight up does not make too much sense to me, in my opinion. And wow, this is actually the first time that I haven't used Adora recently because obviously she just came out. Everybody's using her. Everybody's grinding XP for her. But in regards to the tax shooter and showcasing this, Gwendolyn fits much, much better as a hero and complements the tax shooter much, much better than Adora. Because remember, Adora really only bosses a super monkey. That is it. So outside of that, you really shouldn't be using her. But I get why people want to use her since she's brand new, of course, once again. Round 7 is here, though. Grouped freaking yell as it is. And oh, wait, he has to use the level 3 ability? Why is his cannon ship throwing? I know the cannon ship actually got nerfed, I believe. So maybe that's why. Uh, but he still decided to go for a merchantman before the start of round eight here. So he's going to get that extra $300. Fair play. Well done with that. I'm going to get back to sending space to eco here. And now we're going to start preparing our mid game defenses with going for another attack shooter directly to the left of our blade shooter right here. Because this will be our ring of fire. And guys, this setup is honestly so OP. Oh, he's got ice. Okay, so, yeah, the, his last tower has got to be the Super Monkey. That would just make the most sense. I'm going to send him some Space Seavers here. Maybe it will scare him a bit. I don't want to send too, too many, though. Did force a level 3 ability, so we'll take that. And we're going to get back to sending Space Blacks now that we hit 850 Eco. I'm going to start going for the Ring of Fire here. All right, I'm just going to stop Ecoing right here, right now. After two more Income Boost, we'll be able to go for the Ring of Fire here. But then on top of that, we're going to have to go for a Radar Scanner Village. So, quite expensive. But uh, I'm going to wait to see if he even sends his rush here on round 11. Which, so far, so good. 
And we're going to go for this village then first. Okay. Radar scanner. Oh my god, I still need one more income boost. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to lock in the uh, ring of fire here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We're fine there. We are fine there. We are fine there, right? Okay. Yes, we are. That was... Wait, why? Why did we do so bad against that? That wasn't even like that many purples or anything. But man, oh man. Yeah, I, I think I just over eco a bit too much with the space zebras there. So that's why I didn't even get to really send any space rainbows, unfortunately. Uh, but I don't know, man. Me just ecoing with group blacks, it might honestly get through over on his side uh, as the AI gets more intense. So we're, we're not going to rush him here. We're looking to go late game. We have the life advantage and we have a decent amount of eco as well. So I'm feeling good. Now for the Inferno Ring, $45,500. Guys, this upgrade is pretty expensive, but usually people typically don't go for it. People would much rather have the Tax Zone and then the Super Maelstrom as well. Uh, the Inferno Ring is definitely the most neglected Tier 5 upgrade on the Tax Shooter, but it has been buffed so many times at this point. It's actually been quite crazy. So maybe this is finally the buff to where it's actually worth spending $45,500 on it. Because that's a lot of money compared to the other tier five. Super Maelstrom is like 15,000, I think. And then Tax Zone, I think is like 23, 24,000, something like that. So $45,500 is quite a big difference compared to those tier fives. And it just like never really seemed like it was worth the money. But again, that is why we're here making this video to see if it's actually worth using. So over the Tax Zone, over everything else, I'm gonna make sure that I have this upgrade. But if we have enough money to go for all the upgrades, then I'm going for all the upgrades. I'm just saying, though. We're definitely not going to neglect the Inferno Ring with this video. And by the way, I probably should sell this tax shooter and then replace it with this tax sprayer here. Because that's what we typically do. I'm going to continue on sending Group Black Eco here. Just because I most likely will go for an overdrive. Especially if he stops ecoing here. Because then that means he's probably going to be sending us a fortified mob. And there's that Super Monkey, by the way. No surprises there because, again, Adora, when you're using Adora, you want to use the Super Monkey. He's going to transition into Pink Eco here. Okay, so I'm going to continue on sending Group Blacks, okay? Just because I really want to make sure that I can go for this Overdrive pretty easily. So I guess now, yeah, I can just go for that. And then we'll start going for the bottom path upgrades on a Monkey Village, which do I want to go for a whole new village? Uh, probably actually, yeah, because this could be upgraded to a primary expertise. So, I can transition now, finally, into a constant group pink eco. And we can start going for this village, which... What should I go for? Just, like, right here, maybe? Yeah, this should be fine. And then with the overdrive in the Ring of Fire here, we should be fine against most things. Uh, and then if we need to upgrade or buff our tax shooters, we can always go for the top path upgrades on this village here. But round 20 is, in fact, here. We also have level 10 on Scientist Gwen. Had <laughs> that rhymed. But we have that in case something uh, pushes through over on our side as well. Okay, so maybe after one more income boost here. Yeah, I'll go for the monkey town. Good, good, good. Wait, his gamma detection is actually so weak. Wait, what? Wait, what? He was struggling over on his side. I, I kind of just don't even want to send a rush. Because I feel like my eco game, it's not bad, but it definitely could be better, right? So... Because we had the life advantage and everything, and because we know for a fact he could not regen his lives, I think we should just really focus on our eco, focus on getting up as much money as we can to defend during these later game rounds. Finally was able to go for the Monkey City, and now I'm going to transition into grouped Zebra Eco here, okay? Which this might even just force an upgrade over on his side uh, with these fortified ceramics here too on round 23. He's got to make sure that he's fine here. He's got to make sure... Bro... He might, he, he literally might trade up out of this. And I'm not even trying to kill him. He's going to tower boost. Oh, did I, bro, come on, man. He had so much money to it. Are you kidding me? Okay, it's round 18 here in the next game. I'm about to go for the overdrive, especially if he sends us a fortified Moab here. Unfortunately, the last guy just died already to go. And unfortunately, too, this guy has Agent Jericho as his hero. So our overall money game is not as good as it was. Is he sending me rainbows? Yeah, he is. Wait, what? Is that a rush or are you trying to increase your eco? I I have no idea what that was. Not a single clue. Okay, wait. I'm going to use that. I'm going to send Zebras. So we use up all of our money here. So he has no money to steal from us. Want to use that level 3 ability. I'll send even more Zebras. Okay. 
It's over. Yeah, so anytime that he uses that level 3 ability, we want to make sure that we at least try to use up all of our money. Because if we quite literally have no money on hand, then he has no money to steal from us. But we did go for the overdrive. We got the Ring of Fire. Now we need to start going for the bottom path village, just like in the last game. But it is now round 20. We should be fine here. Balloon Adjustment 2, by the way, with the, having the Ring of Fire, Radar Scanner Village, we're going to be fully fine against all of the Balloon Adjustment and he just now went for the uh, Banana Research Facility over on his side, which is good, but he should have tried to go for it before the start of round 20, because on round 20, there's only one single map, so you get all the bananas and all the money from all your banana farms immediately. So that's why people really strive to go for that BRF uh, before that round, okay? But here on round 22, he could sense the OMG. He's going to steal our money again here, unfortunately. Uh, I'm going to stop equaling just for a second, just to make sure we had enough money to go for that. It's kind of hard to avoid the steals this uh, later on. Okay, so it's sent us as the OMG. Okay, okay, and he's balloon boosting it. I probably should just stop equaling, and I'm going to stop equaling, because, uh, yeah, that's not too fun. So, let me go for another overdrive here. Wow, that thing is lightning fast, boys. That thing is lightning, lightning fast. It's going to block our projectiles a little bit, but... Have to go for a super maelstrom. He's gonna send us another one. Shoot, that's not too fun. All right, and another dude. How was he able to send us three? Did he go for IMF loan? Wait, wait. We just counter here. We counter here. We we counter that. 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 Hundred percent. We counter that. He ain't, he ain't defending that. But wait. Can I sell another overdrive here? Yes, I can. Fortify Moabs. Hmm, I might die first. No, that's a lot of ceramics. He's dead first, right? He died first, right? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Dude. Dude. I I'm just looking to go late game, man. Okay. But that was still a close and good game. But man, oh man. That, that was just too close. GG's though. I'll catch you on the next one. Okay, now we're on the map Cobra Command. It's round 22, and this is not by any means the ideal map for the strategy, but I couldn't get a good map like Star, like the first two games, unfortunately. And yep, here comes the ZOMG. Okay, so at least it's unfortified. So against an unfortified ZOMG, I feel like we honestly should be fine here. We, even with Max Equin, okay? That's how confident I am, because most likely he's going to press the button here. So that it skips, so I have less time, right? Yep, there it goes with the button click. Oh, dude, sometimes it like it looks like and seems like that it's not actually gonna go through that way. But uh, yeah, I didn't even slow down my eco at all, literally at all. And we'll still easily be able to go for the super maelstrom here. And he's gonna send more. Wait, what? Here, watch. This is what I'm gonna do. Oh, those two. Wait. Then I'm gonna use boost level ten. We're good here. Then Super Maelstrom. Micro it just to be safe. And then I'll probably micro it one more time. Just need one more income boost though. That's the kind of bad thing. We just lose a ton of money with doing that. But it is all good. Let's go for that bottom path upgrade. Okay, that was a solid clean defend and it slowed down his farms even more. And now we could probably transition into constant group zebra eco here okay because uh i think we should be fine here right i'm gonna clear this obstacle because it's just kind of annoying me and where do we want the icicle impale probably more towards the back of the map right probably just right next to this water right here so yeah we'll go for this back here this will be for our ddt defenses of course so maybe we should get back to pink eco just so we have enough money to actually go for the icicle impale so yeah hopefully mm, Okay, I'm losing money doing this, so it's kind of annoying, but I'm going to go for the icicle and pill a little bit more so they can hit balloons over here, okay? And we actually don't even have enough money to go for this, so uh, let's hope and pray that he just doesn't send it. If he does, I'm going to have to sell this, and that will be a little unfortunate, but it is what it is. He's going to send us a Moab and some rainbows here because he uses level 3 ability. Fair play, well, no, we might even want to stop eco in here very, very soon because I feel like since his money game is just like so bad... He's going to want to rush us immediately on round 30. Okay, so... Yeah, we're just going to stop vehicling here. Um, do I need to go for Icicle and Pale, or am I fine? Oh my... Bro. Do you see that? Yeah, I saw that, right? 
<laughs> because I thought about, oh, maybe I sh should I agree for the Monkeyopolis? Bro, we just leaked to that Fortified Mob right there. That is actually crazy. Uh, so yeah, most likely then won't go for the Monkeyopolis here. But at least we do have, in fact, this set in stone. We do want to make sure that we go for the Inferno Ring once again. Primary Expertise. Oh, am I going to be able to afford these things, guys? I'm not sure. Oh, DDT is here. Just, just to be safe. Because what? Like, that was my last tower boost, though. I didn't mean to go for a primary expertise. Is he just... Wait. What? Are, what is everyone doing? Wait. Hold on. Okay. I don't know why people are doing this. Why, why is this guy doing this? Bro, why are people sending the dumbest rushes? All right. Will this finally be the game that we get to showcase the newly buffed in front of ring? Hopefully, man, because... This has just been crazy, bro. But should we go for the primary expertise? Most likely no. Uh, but I would like to go for a bunch of textures in here. In this, like, radius right here. Although, oh, no, wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is what I want to do. I want to go for all these textures, right? And then we'll have this ice in the middle be our super brittle. How about that, boys? And now I'll probably have the tax stone. Should I have it more back here or more up here? I honestly, I don't know. I don't know what would be better. I guess initial damage. So yeah, we'll have the tax stone right here. Round 30 is in fact here. Okay, and then this can be like, or maybe like right here can be more of our cleanup infernal ring. So I guess we just go for that now. And look at the range on this thing, by the way. It's crazy. So I'm gonna cross path it with the bottom path because the middle path increases the range, but I honestly don't even think that we need that, okay? And this guy's just going for a ton of farms. Oh my goodness, bro. He's 100% going to send us like a humongous rush. Hopefully 5600 eco is enough here. But I guess I'm just going to start preparing my defenses now with upgrading all of these taxiders to overdrives. And then, yeah, I think I just got to go for the win here. One eternity later. All right, it's round 39 now. Let's see if he rushes us here. I mean, he quite literally has to, right? So I'm kind of just wait on that. I never froze the water. Oh, yeah. Dang it, boys. I never froze the water over here. That kind of sucks. Okay, I probably should just tower boost now. Homeland. I won't use my level 10, though. I kind of just want to see how fast we can shred. Yes, sir, baby. Shouldn't have, shouldn't have wasted a tower boost on that, though. I can't lie. But we did, in fact, shred. So that's good. And now he's going to give us a little good luck. We're going to have to hit him with one. Okay. Let's micro homeland. Oh, shoot. Wait, 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 wait. So you. I need I need an MIDB up here. I need an MIB. Buff Isis. Level 20. Okay. I don't have Super Maelstrom. I don't think Super Maelstrom is going, going to do much for us, honestly. That's a lot of hyper dense ZMGs, though. Wait. Okay, that's in with, within range. Oh, Tower Boost. Okay, we're going to micro homeland. If we can, can we micro homeland? Mm. It's a lot of insides. Use my, use this ability. Buffer Isis. He's got to make sure that he can defend. It's pretty close, actually. Did we defend? There's a lot of insides, guys. Do not underestimate the insides. Mm, I need a solid attack shooter. So I have enough money. Come on. Use that. Oh, I might be dead here, boys. I might just be dead. Is he dead? Wait, no, he died first, right? He died first, right? I can't even tower boost nothing. I can't do anything right now. Oh my god, we won. Oh my. <laughs> Yo, I didn't even check the pop count, though. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm so sorry, but the fact that we won right there, because he had like infinite money, bro. Did you see how many banana farms he had? And he just kept on racking up his money, and we just had to send two fortified BADs. That just proves Druid Farm sub, it's not a late game or in a strategy. It's not a GG round 40 strategy. But again, I'm sorry they didn't check the pop count, but the fact that we defended, I guarantee the Inferno Ring did its part, so GG's. And if you haven't already, make sure to check out this video where the Super Monkey is actually broken now. In the most recent update, they buffed the Super Monkey a lot. You don't want to miss this video. Check it out now.